What is up? Yesterday I was going through some footage on my computer of some old stuff that for whatever reason I never released. I never put it out in video. And I thought I'd go through and start releasing some of those now. Um, one of which was me installing the seven-way connection in the bed of my very filthy right now F-150. And uh, I thought the, the video might be useful to some of you out there if you're looking to do this kind of project. If so, stick around, check it out. Um, I think you'll find it very informative. The quality is not the absolute best. I have upped my quality since then, but I think you'll still enjoy it. Stick around and check it out. Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Today I have a project for you. We're gonna be putting a seven-way plug into the bed of my truck for my gooseneck trailer. Stick with me and uh, I'll show you how we're gonna do it. A few things that you might need. This is obviously for my F-150. Your vehicle may vary, but generally these things are gonna be about the same. So. Things that I have is I have a hole saw kit here. I've got some bits. Um, mostly I needed this 5 16th uh, bit here. I'm gonna take the tail light uh, out so I can do some measuring. I got a measuring tape. I have a drill for the hole saw. I've got a marker and center punch and some tape. Here's the seven way plug I'm gonna use. I chose this one. It is by, I think it's Bargman. And it's about $80 on Amazon. I chose this one because Two, two reasons, I don't have to splice any wires in. These are gonna plug directly into uh, the current seven way that I have in the truck. They're gonna run up. The other thing that I liked is I liked the 90 degree bend here. A lot of them had wires coming straight out and that increased like the, the space that we're gonna need to install it. And I also liked how well this cable seemed to be shielded. So now at a certain point it is just taped, but a majority of it is uh, is really shielded really nicely. Um, it also comes with a spacer, which I actually may need, um, we will see, and stainless hardware. I have a set of calipers here, and the reason is I might use the depth function. You could just as easily use a measuring tape, which is actually probably what I'm gonna use ultimately. I also have some dielectric grease. We're gonna use that liberally in the, uh, in the connections here so that I don't have to worry about uh, any issues with weathering. A couple other things, I've got some gloves, and I've got my energy drink, and some rags. So that's what we've got to use. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off this tail light to see what the space looks like back here in the spot that I've selected. So on this 2012 F-150, to remove the tail lights, I just take off these two bolts here. So I've already wiped this area down just so it's not so filthy. And the location that I want to put this is almost directly behind here. So here's my stake pocket. In the, uh, in the F-150s, the stake pocket actually apparently houses the, the wiring for the taillight assembly. And so I've looked at the other side and it's exact, it's just right on the other side of this stake pocket. So it looks like I'm gonna have about three and a quarter inches of clearance back there and and if you look at what I've got going here I've got and it's real close it's, it's maybe a little more than three and a quarter so we'll try it if it doesn't fit it's so it's fine I've got this spacer and it's about a half inch spacer so it should have plenty of room back there so here I picked the general location that I'm gonna put the plug I'm gonna put it right here because I've got a little more space than if I did it back here I don't think there's gonna be enough space between I don't want to put it here only because I think that as I slide things in and out it may just pop because it's going to stick out a little bit. In here I feel like it's protected, it's behind here and it, it won't get in the way as much. I'm going to tape this area up. This is probably overthinking it but if I look at this assembly here, the whole thing is here and the, the cord coming in is centered just below the center of the whole assembly. So I may drop it down a quarter of an inch from center here just because the whole thing needs to fit on this space. And actually what I'm going to do to do that is I'm going to use this spacer to see where everything's going to line up. I'm going to put it there, I kind of like that. So this is going to be super scientific here. I like it right there. Oh, 
All right, so here's the deal. I'm gonna slowly drill this hole. That was what I was worried about. All right. Okay, so here's a hole. I did more up the edge a little bit. Just kind of jumped out of my hands a little bit there, but I think for the most part it's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be covered. All right, so I've got this file here and I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up this hole a little bit and make sure I got any burrs that might be in there. All right, so I don't know if this is gonna help, but I'm gonna put some uh, liquid electrical tape in there just to kind of seal up this bare metal edge. So I'm gonna let that dry and we'll move on. I'm gonna remove all this tape, see how we did. It looks pretty good. As soon as this dries, we're gonna feed the wires through. While we're waiting on that to dry, here's my assistant today. This is Porter. This is my four-year-old. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Obviously, I got this thing, and this is why I'm going to do a video for you about. You're gonna do a video on that? What is that? Um, it can already be like, like a strap, and it hooks on the stuff. Is it a bungee? Yeah. Here's a quick tip for uh, cleaning up a bunch of these metal shavings. I've got a magnet and I just threw a paper towel over it. I use plastic bags sometimes too. So you can just kind of run it over the area and at least get a majority of them. The reason I put the paper towel over it is just so it's easy to get off of the magnet. Uh, a lot of times these little shavings, they get in all the little nooks and crannies of the magnet. And it's difficult to come off. So there's that. Yeah, then all I have to do is pull the paper towel off and shave it go in the garbage can. Yeah. And the paper towel. And the paper towel. Alright, I think we're going to call that dry enough. So, we're going to feed these through here. just enough room so that I don't need that spacer. That makes me very happy. Okay, so you got one in so we can kind of adjust it where we want it. That's gonna be perfect. All right, let's go into the truck. In order to do that, I don't want to crawl under there. And I've got a lift, and this is actually gonna be the first time we use the lift. So, uh, I've not lifted anything but my quad with the lift so far. So, I've got it kind of where I think it's gonna be balanced, I hope. Here we go. Okay, so I just cleaned up a little bit. It's kind of pointless to clean up everything, but uh, this comes down here. I'm gonna try to route it to the pier. Okay, I understand this is probably pretty disorienting. Uh, your face kind of up underneath the truck. It becomes very obvious that I'm gonna have a lot more cable than I need. So I'm going to kind of run it long and then double back. All right, so now that I have everything routed, I just have to pull this out and already push the button. It's just a button right here, it's really easy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put dielectric grease in this connection. Now I'm just going to get it in there. So it clicks, that one clicks. And same with this one. Now I just need to zip tie this thing up out of the way. 
Make sure there's no pinch points, and we're good to go. Oh, I love that. We don't live in New York, though, buddy. So I would have done myself a favor if I had uh, dropped the spare tire here. But I'm not going to now. All right, so here's where the seven-way plug plugs in now. Instead of having to go over the top of the tailgate uh, with a big long extension, the other problem with that is you can get things hung up on the corners of the truck uh, when you're turning sharp and things like that. So, what's that? <laughs> I don't film myself very often. <laughs> I just I focus here. <laughs> I'm so I'm a terrible vlogger. I'm horrible dude. That's why I have Max here to give me tips because uh, most of the footage that I come away with is completely unusable. <laughs> Either pointed like, at the sky or the ground. Like right now, it's probably just silhouetted uh, horribly, and we're not even going to be able to use this. <laughs> no. So we'll get better. <laughs> That's plenty. All right.